Hey everybody, Matt DeGrower here, live again from the Sure to Grow studio. This is part two in our five-part series in which we're discussing which hydroponic system is best for you, and we're going to build four of those systems. This is the first one we're going to build. This is a top drip slab system employing quantum trays. So, Borger, are you excited? I'm very excited. I was, I was waiting for you to introduce me. Well, I just did. Okay. Hey, everyone. Glad to be here again. Jeremy Borger. Uh, first system we're going to do today is a top drip system. Yeah, that's correct. It's the most basic of all hydroponic systems. It's the one that most people will gravitate to when they want to get out of traditional soil agriculture. All right. So what do we need to get started? What are our, our items? That well, we I have this treasure chest of goodies in here. Okay. So this is what we're going to need. A black hose. Pitch. Actually, that's half inch. Uh, irrigation hose. You can okay. find that actually at Home Depot, any hydroponic retailer or irrigation store. And so it's, it's important that it's black so you don't get the algae buildup. That's correct. Please do not use clear hose or else you're going to run into a myriad of problems. So half inch rubber hose. All right. Um, this is half inch Hard irrigation hard line. Yeah, hard <laughs> irrigation line. Uh, you can use the soft line as well. I like the hard irrigation line because it gives me a nice straight riser coming up out of the reservoir. I don't have to worry about it snaking or kinking inside and therefore uh, decreasing the amount of nutrients getting to my plants. That's why I like to use a hard riser. You want a hard riser. Yeah. So you can get that at Home Depot uh, in their irrigation section. Okay. What's next? A bunch of little tubes. Spaghetti lines. Spaghetti line, exactly. That's eighth inch micro tubing or eighth inch spaghetti line. Once again, you can get it from an irrigation manufacturer. You can get it from a hydro store. And I think some Home Depots carry that as well. Okay. How much does this stuff cost? What you have there on the table so far is probably about $3. Okay, so cheap. This thing. That's a half inch 90 elbow. It's designed to fit that soft half inch uh, irrigation tubing. It also will plug right into that half inch black solid riser. So these are event this thing is eventually going to plug into those things. Yeah, it's about 28 cents. 28 cents. All right, cheap so far. I'm waiting for the big expensive piece. Half inch uh, MPT barb. That's what's going to plug into the top of your pump and you know, make the whole thing work. That is the cornerstone, that little piece there. Okay. All right. This thing. That's an end plug for your half inch irrigation line. I like these ones instead of just crimping the end because this one you can unscrew and you can clean out your line in case you have any type of plugs or debris. In algae? There. Algae, if you will. Clean out the algae. All right. This is the uh, sure to grow block. As a six inch sure to grow block. I like to use those on top of our six inch or eight inch slabs in the quantum trays. So you're gonna need some of those for this to work. And you ch do I wrap this now? You gave me a challenge earlier. Yeah, I gave you a challenge to see if you could wrap that. We're gonna wrap that once we put everything together. Okay. So you can just set that down. All right, does this come with the, the sure to grow? That package? comes in the retail pack. Okay, okay. Um, another sure to grow. That's a number two clipper cloner. That's if you were going to start a clone, you would start in here until the roots, and then you plug it right into the top of this six inch block. So this is all gonna sit on top of the slab, which you'll see in a moment once we get the thing assembled. Okay, and all the sure to grow products can be found at sure2grow.com. That's correct. Okay, cool. And this thing, yellow pointy item. It's an irrigation punch. Okay. They're about 89 cents. Uh, it's an invaluable tool. It has the punch here, which allows you to stick the spaghetti line into the half inch tubing. It also, if you look at it closely, uh, this one doesn't have it, some of them do. It has a hex cut into it, which allows you to tighten down emitters as well. It doubles as a wrench. Okay. Oh, it has it here on this one. And uh, these all, if you can get from a hardware store. Hardware store, irrigation store, hydroponic. Hardware store and suretogrow.com, all okay. right? So here's the black tote, just a standard black, you know, Rubbermaid tote. This one's exceptionally heavy duty. I like to use these because they just last longer. Okay. All right, so what we need to do, we need to grab a pump. So any type of aquarium pump, this one's a 220 gallon per hour. I like, you really don't need anything more than 300 gallons per hour for a top drip. You're feeding through micro tubes and you're gonna feed probably continuously through those micro tubes. So as a result, you don't need a high volume pump. How much does that go for? Uh, that's about 23 bucks. So Borger, here's what you do. You need to take this piece here mm -hmm. and screw it right into the top. All right, I right can like do that. that. Bam, I'm Pretty making easy, hydroponic right? systems. Take your rigid riser. Rigid riser, okay. Stick it right on top of that. Thing. I've it's never good. done this before. It's gonna require some force. You might wanna put it on the table okay. and really jam it on there because you want that to be a- I'm a, not a strong person, Matt. A watertight seal. Do you need some help? <laughs> Uh, that, that'll suffice. That's good. That'll suffice for what we're doing today. 
So we're gonna stick this on here. Oh, we're gonna set it right down into the tote. Okay, so now we have the rigid riser and the pump inside the tote. I can't wait to see the YouTube comments on this one. What we have here is the lid. As you can see, I've already pre-drilled a hole to allow that rigid riser to come right out the top. Can okay. you hand me the 90, Borger? The 90. It's right here. There you go. Here's the 90. We're going to plug that 90 right in the top of this rigid riser. Oh, with some effort, of course. See, it's not so easy. No, that rigid riser has been a little bit cold, so it's a little bit stiff. Stiff right. rigid riser. Take this half inch uh, soft irrigation tubing. Plug that right into the top of that riser. All right. Now, if we can make some room on this table and slide this tote over in front of you. There you go. Perfect, right? When do I wrap this thing? You're going to wrap it in a minute. This is just a standard PVC stand. I built out a one-inch PVC. Uh, it's going to allow me to set the trays onto the tote, like okay. so. Move a little bit out of the way. Grab the other one. Set this one up here. And you got the sure to grow six inch slabs and or the eight, eight inch, inch slabs. slabs. Yeah, I really like to use these. Uh, they're just much more easy to use than the Rockwell version. The Rockwell version likes to put sediment into my system, oh. clog my uh, feed lines, clog my pump. So I like the sure to grow. So I have two quantum trays sitting up here. I have pre drilled holes. If you look at the bottom of this quantum tray, here's the drain. That drain corresponds to a drain in the top of this tub. So as I feed this, it's going to recirculate back into the tote. Two quantum trays. I got the irrigation line here. All right. Would you like to put the end plug on? I you would just love to slide put the it. End plug on. Slide the end plug right on top of that irrigation line. It's not the rigid riser. That's not the rigid riser. Look, I got that one. I'm much better at this. You done soft there? One. Yeah. All right. Next, what I want you to do is take a couple of these. I want you to punch a hole using the irrigation punch okay. into this half inch line. And I want you to stick a couple of those spaghetti lines in there. Just right in here? Yep. Stick it right in there. Rotate it around a little bit. Okay. Does that go, go all the way That's through? That's perfect. No, right like that. Now okay. get your spaghetti line. All right. And stick it right in that spot. Matt, this is fun and educational. Uh, I'd like to believe so. And you know, it allow you to grow some plants, feed your family. Wouldn't it be great to have fresh tomatoes in the middle of January? It would be. So here's a, here's a standard irrigation line. If you see how easy that was for him, he just took the irrigation punch, punched a hole in the half inch irrigation line, stuck the spaghetti line in there. This is what's going to feed your block. So here's your opportunity. All right. Let's wrap this. You challenged me that I couldn't wrap this. White side out. White side out. Four for four. <laughs> I already messed up. Then you just take off this adhesive. That's it. And these are this is this comes with the sure to grow block. Yeah, we kit. include the poly wraps with the blocks because it helps decrease the amount of algae located around the perimeter of the cube. It keeps the plant a little bit healthier. So now that we have this block wrapped in the that poly, job? that's pretty good. That's okay. not bad for a first time. We're gonna find out how many. I would usually probably put two of these blocks per slab, so you'd have a total of four plants. We look at where the footprint is for this. Okay. We're Got gonna about make a minute and a half here. We're gonna make an X, right like this to allow this block to come in contact with the slab. Yeah, so that's how that works. And by doing that and leaving those triangle flaps, it also keeps this thing light tight. So you're not gonna have algae growing on the top of that slab. Take your feed emitter line, plug it right into the top, and you're done. Boom! Okay, so the water then is going to run through here and the Schrodinger helps absorb it for What's the gonna, plant. It's going to run down this irrigation line. It's going to feed into this block. And as this plant grows larger and larger, the roots are going to penetrate the bottom of the cube and grow throughout the Schrodinger slab, giving it plenty of media, awesome. regardless of how long-term your crop is. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to build three more systems after this. Yeah. And you can go to suretogrowvideo.com and uh, watch the whole series there. Matt? I, I feel learned now. Thank you. All right, not, not a problem. Once again, everybody, thanks for stopping by. You too can build one of these in a matter of, well, 10 minutes. Have a great day. Keep on growing. Peace.